Hi, I would like to try at least to do a, something like a speed run on overgrowth. I like this level because it took me quite some time before to get it going. Right, first thing we'll need, get some basic income. And then you see at the bottom right, you see the actual time. And um, so I think the, the of course the, you can argue should you use the in-game time or the like the, the wave at which you beat the, beat this level uh, well, I, I think it's fine uh, the reason I want to show this is because it took me quite some time before I got this level uh, right because I eventually ended up in wave 30 in which you get this huge uh, boss and um, I'm unaware how if and how you can beat it without cheating so um, let's establish first some basic income uh, just, just the copper will quickly move into the uh, you see I, I'm a bit sloppy in building uh, I don't mind too much here we go so here we have some copper uh, there's coal, uh, oil or coal, so use that to and I will make it a bit rectangular. Let's get that harvesting to get our graphite going because we'll need a lot of it. So, um, one mistake you could make when you want to try this level is uh, that you want to uh, build up a decent economy with uh, all the with an alloy smelt or a very high tech uh, tech uh, the superior option is just to go for what the game advises you to do which simply is build a lot of titan max and you'll see that that is exactly what I'll be doing so I'm going to put two graphite presses, actually I don't know why I always do this, it's not needed at all. Here we go. So that will give our first graphite. Um, now it's time to make some cannons to, uh, to get the enemy to bounce back. Like The enemy can be uh, annoying, but you can also prevent it from getting that far. So we'll just um, build up some copper here, and we'll, you'll see I'll just build up copper for now. And uh, you'll see actually in the end that perhaps even the copper won't be used. So you fly over the enemy, that's just fine. Let's see there. So these two walls we have to plug, and there's copper here, there it is. This will be the longest route of copper to uh, build in this level. So let's uh, get the stream going. is a wall we need to plug there and you'll see that this is just like this will look as if it will hurt the enemy it will never or, or, or rarely um, actually do anything you'll see I'll, I'll put some routers here just to put some coppers there so coppers are the sim most simple cannon you have in the game They're so and and um, for for higher waves they are completely useless. You should quickly move to salvos or, or those kind of things. Uh, but for the current purposes they are good enough to repel the enemy. You see, I already built my first copper wall here. here so we can put some coppers there so that's building up nicely uh, there's building up great let's take a look at the graphene and the graphite and upgrade so we have 25 let's take some so that means we can do two pneumatic drills and that will make us even get get even more graphene 
Uh, so that's great. I'll add four. I think that that will be enough. And well, that will be enough for now. And let's get our uh, silicon running already. So this is very convenient. Uh, coal mining facility, which we'll use for our first stream of coal. You see that also here there's already some coal present. And I will perhaps add that later, but perhaps actually I won't use it at all. You'll see. So this sand will be here. Let's also get some sand harvested. Silicon smelters. I think I can well, buy one for now. And then we'll get some silicon going to our base. You noticed we don't have any power yet, which is just fine. It will be a couple more seconds before the enemy arrives, which gives me plenty of time. Let's see which way do I need to go. Because when the enemy arrives, it will um, it's unknown which uh, which route it will take, so I'll need to take a close look at that. I think I need to go down here. So I zoom out here, so we can see the enemy is at the top right. And uh, you'll see I'll be following in it closely. But let's first get our. Silicon smelting go or the graphite smelting, graphite presses are doing great. Enemy is going to the this side, so time to load up to load up on some coppers. Uh, first, put a wall there. That's the better investment for now. will need some copper, uh, but where is the copper? There it is. So it is getting there, and we just need enough copper to repel the first enemy. As you can see that the coppers are now filling up. And the first enemy actually, it can't shoot, it's uh, it's uh, this, this explosive uh, thing, so I can, I can just help shoot him. goes. So that was the first wave which was very harmless. Now let's go back to getting some silicon. Because that's in the end all we need. I'm going to steal the power from here. And that will be plenty for now. I like to build my power lines at the side. Probably you know all the people that like to do so as well because it will like it's not in the way here we have our silicon smelter, which will power now. So we're going to put routers here. You see that I already put uh, multiple of them, like I like to think ahead. And because a silicon smelter needs sand and coal, and in this way, we'll need junctions here for the sand, so the sand will go underneath the coal line. And in that way we can have a nice compact Alright, so that's enough for now. Let's first finish our silicon line, alright, that's actually already there. I don't think it will clog up, but just for a good, happy feeling, I'll put a different line there, and I'll be getting some titanium. One, two, three, four, that's enough for now. 
actually won't be using much it's just that if something clogs up we can make quicker conveyor belts so it's not a speed run because it's not doing the most efficient thing you could do probably it's also a bit uh, safe play that I'm doing so I think I can just go here to the right so the reason that the enemy is um, it, it, it it's getting stuck someplace and that's actually very convenient for me very good investment so there will be a wave of enemies that will fly and for that I'll be making some scatters which is the anti-air so for example I'll put one there are some scatters there I have my a, a decent amount of lead income I can mm -hmm. power is good silicon is on the way so there are nine enemies now these are walking enemies so I'm safe uh, notice that I don't uh, I haven't plugged any wall here yet I'll just put some coppers there because I can Like we need, we will need to plug this wall when uh, we get our first max. So actually, it's already time to build some Mac factories. So let's build the first, second, third. Of course, these boys. I think so. I aim for six, perhaps five also works. Uh, but I do know that five or six uh, works very well. So you see, I can't build all of them yet. Uh, that's why there's more. Um, that's why I need still more silicon at the base, at the core. So that's why I'm harvesting. That's why I'm sending some silicon um, home. So I can build those. Uh -huh. So let's see why don't I get more silicon? Because there's not enough coal. And there's not enough coal because I haven't mined out everything that was possibly possible. So I'll do that. first mech is building and all just the great so all are built that means I'm going to cut the silicon um, line to the core because I don't need anything more I need to plug this wall and this is the place where I want them to go to so I'll make it a very well, well a very friendly environment for them to be so let's just check that's yes, alright so this is an enemy luckily I have a bit of coppers that help me but that's great so I have our first mech already and now I'm going to wait until all of them um, have finished so for that we need more silicon obviously we see that the thing that's lacking is coal um, 
actually that's because of course there's a delay on the call getting to this little uh, line oh actually I'm going to use a graphite I have plenty of resources and uh, so I'm just making some more call that's a limiting factor I predict that sand will become a limiting factor soon we have our robots running so now three are already building but these are still not in use so we need more so we can build four one two three four so now we can consider adding these conveyor belts and that will help out quite a bit to get that city It's a good thing. That's why. That's where I saved the titanium for, and that it would go fast. Also, here, I'm going to speed everything up quite some bit. So uh, I have to take a peek at how many robots we have there, that's only 4, that's not enough. So the last time I tried this, well speed run if you would call it like that, was in wave 14. Uh, that, I, uh, that I decided to attack the core and, uh, and won. In this run I aim to, to be faster. So that means that uh, this is going great. There's already some accumulating here, which is a good sign, but these are zero. Could be faster. Could be faster. Alright, so let's add some drills, because, well, we can and have nothing else to do at the moment anyways. So this goes great. Power is great, so sand is a problem now. that up a bit. Yeah, that looks way better already. Let's see, is there a nice sand line here? One, two, three, four, yeah, yeah so let's add those. Now you see I'm just adding sand because I have nothing better to do. Of course I could use uh, better drills. moment all enemies are still clogged up there which is fine these are building this goes great this will get stuck which is great because then we're sure everything is starting to build yeah everything gets stuck that's great that means I'm going to add a bit more just because uh, because I can wave 11 now so I'm going to so in wave 11 oops so this is not enough max so there are some coming of course there are uh, so I'll be a bit, a bit more patient wait for a bit more of them oh, how friendly of them 4 4 4 4 16 20 
23, 24, 25, 26. So that's a nice amount. Let's see if I have more money. So after this wave, let's see what kind of wave is this. It's a ground wave. Um, so this is wave 13. I'm going to wait 33 seconds more and then I will unleash my max. And then uh, you'll see how I beat this level. You see that I didn't do anything fancy at all. So let's just wait. Which is uh, something you usually don't do in a speed run, so it's not a speed run. I just want to show how to do this level quick. Also, flow is nice here now. Oops. Right. So the enemies are leaving. And I'm just going to wait until they. Uh, until the. they reload there. Yes. One, two, three. There it goes. And I could take a look, uh, but what they'll be uh, what they'll be doing is they will go to the core, so the core is in the middle, and they'll just ruthlessly attack it, and then I have won the level. Right, so I did it. So I hope um, yep, that you have enjoyed the video as far as you can do. It's not very exciting, but it at least shows you the strategy. Right, so wish you a very good day. Bye.